Hey y'all. Hi. What are Hi. we doing now, Dooley? Loving on goats. Loving on goats. Oh yes, we are. Oh me. My wife is a little bit crazy, y'all. I'm just a crazy girl, lady. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Okay, sorry. In all, so. in all seriousness, today is corn picking day. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> well, at least I know what we're doing now. She's in your phone thing with her. I know, horse. she's cooking it. Off. Anyway. So, for real, <laughs> it's corn picking corn. day. Is that better? Yeah. Excitement. Are y'all excited? Yeah. yeah. All right. They've been wanting to pick corn for weeks. I believe we have enough over there to justify picking. You can understand so, our weather by looking at us. Jackets, sweatpants. Some of us are in sweatshirts. Some of us are in shorts and t-shirts. It's and about we're all comfortable. <laughs> it's about 60 degrees out right now. I love it. And the breezy. But uh, we are going to go pick corn in the busy man's garden. Um, whatever's ready, we're going to pick. And then we're going to cut it up and we're going to vacuum seal it and freeze it. Yeah. We're also going to save um, some for supper. Yeah. For supper, we're having cube steak, gravy, mashed potatoes, and corn on the cob. And we're leaving it on the cob. It's easier yes. to process that way. And we're just going to put it in vacuum seal bags and seal it up and throw it in the freezer. It's easier to serve that way, too. Everybody yeah. gets a little gets piece of the cob. Own. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. The corn up in the other garden, we're going to let it continue to grow and go to seed yeah. for next year. All right, y'all. Here we are. Lots of corn to pick, looks like. Uh-oh, did you break it off, Lydia Grace? Uh, no, it's already broken. Okay. We're going to go in here and pick all the corn that's ready. We're up here picking corn and we have found corn fungus. Um, it's pretty gnarly looking. This one also had a corn worm, so we have fungus and corn worm in it. This stuff I think grows in like hot and humid corn and it got really rainy for a little while after our drought <laughs> and really humid and hot. So we have a good bit of corn, not a ton, but a good bit with this fungus on it. We're not eating it. It is edible. I know people try to grow corn in an environment that encourages corn fungus to grow. It's just not appetizing to me. So we're going to pass. It looks like spray foam, but just a bluey color. It's kind of weird. So we're going to pass on the corn fungus, but I just want to show you guys because it's really interesting. And we have not personally had corn fungus grow on our corn before. Um, but yeah, kind of crazy. All right. We've got corn harvested. Lots of it. Hopi is standing on the back of the truck on the feed with a corn tassel. Let me show y'all what she's got going on. What are you doing, Hopi? Are you dancing with the corn tassel? Yeah. Hey, careful. All right. Lydia's coming even back to you. Okay. All right. Like I was saying, we harvested corn. We are up here in the garden to check it. This corn is going to go to seed. We've got our neighbors are coming tomorrow. I'm sure you're pointing those things. I was here. going to trim your hair. The neighbors are coming tomorrow. They did not have a very good bean harvest. Yep. They're an and, elderly couple. An elderly couple. And we're going to help them harvest green beans. green beans out of this patch because we have tons of beans right now. And we felt like it would be better to bless them since they didn't get much. We're going to give them what we have here. Yep. Um, I guess we're going to go through and pick everything we can. Here's our big old pumpkin. It's huge. I mean, I've seen bigger pumpkins, but for us, it's huge. It's a big one. So it's just continuing to grow, and we're just going to let it go until the vines die back. Or I guess before frost, if we're going to get a frost, we'll come up here and get it. Right, Lydia? It's a very pretty orange, isn't it? It is very pretty. We have a lot of little pumpkins over here. There's one there. Still a decent size. It's not tiny. And then I have some candy roaster squash that are going to go until these vines completely die off. There's a candy roaster there. And then there's two big, whoops, let me that way. Two big ones right there. 
And I've been watching them. They're just going to keep going and getting bigger. Here's a pumpkin. This vines are pretty much dead. We could take it. Um, when you cut your pumpkins, you want to leave part of your stem on. You want to cut it like right here and let it dry out. That helps the curing and they'll last longer in storage with winter squash and pumpkins if you leave some of the stem. Now, I've been bad about popping the acorn squash off the stem instead of cutting them. But I did not know that. Yeah, they store better that way. There's a, still a couple of cantaloupe up here. There's one. There's some butternut squash that, again, I'm going to leave and let them finish a couple more pumpkins over here. The two shells are over there in the grass and they're getting really big. They look really good. They're probably about, well, their vines are dead. There's the kushal. There's the Let's kushal. see. There's several. There's one over here. Kushal pumpkins. Oh, there's a tray right there that should not have been left there, but it's in the middle of this. There's two kushal here and one over there. So we have at least three kushals and they have and tons the of meat. There's, There's another two, orange pumpkin right here another. in the weeds. Yep. Right there. Here's a couple and more acorn squash. They're still going, they don't have any, they're not getting any orange on their bellies yet or underside, so. I don't know if we've showed the cosmos yet. No, finally the cosmos bloomed and they're beautiful. They're really beautiful. They're over there. You can yeah. show them that. All right, y'all check these out. Emma is so excited. Look how pretty these cosmos flowers are. Oh, wow. Check okay, that out. That's, that's mine. That's my zinnia. The red ones are mine. Is that yours, Lydia, Lydia Grace? They were mine. No, they're we're going to pick it. Oh, we can cut it so you can put it here, in Here, I have a cutter right here. Yeah. You have a cutter? Lydia. You probably should have cut it lower so we yeah. could have put it in a jar. You want to cut some flowers? You want to cut a few, Lydia? Here. I like fresh flowers. Here you go. We should cut some of those. Some, see this little one? Our poor one sad, lonely sunflower plant. Right there. It was supposed to be mammoth. No, that one wasn't a mammoth. No, the mammoth one the died. The mammoth one died. That one is just a We had three classic. mammoth ones. Yeah. But that one was supposed to be a mammoth. Here, cut that red Here's one a pretty one. red one right there, Lydia Grace. Right here? Yeah, we'll yep. leave some for the... All right, and then... Uh, Emma said not to cut her cosmos. Oh, really? Yes. She did not Can I just cut one? Can I just cut one and put it behind my ear and walk down there with it like I own it? <laughs> yes. See what she yes. says? <laughs> I'm not sure why. So... Look how pretty. I think she wants to come cut them, actually. They are beautiful flowers. Look how pretty, the pink. Let's cut this one. I think she wanted to let those go to seed, and she was going to save seeds from that specific color. Because she got a mix, so they were all different colors. That's what we coming up. We had a couple of those sunflowers in here. And those will go in the jar. Yeah. So pretty. Thought I'd show you what we did with the corn. Uh, we picked six to eight bushels. I can't really remember how much it was, but we shucked it. We cut the, the ends off of it or the bad spots where the worms had been, and we cleaned it up and vacuum sealed it and froze it. And it is delicious. Absolutely super sweet, super yummy. <clears throat> I think we've had it for two meals, two out of three meals since we picked it. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show y'all what we did with our corn. We are just going crazy with our produce. Our garden is just booming, which is such a blessing. And we're so thankful for that. But uh, anyway, there it is. Just thought I'd show y'all these little seedlings. We have red Russian kale, dinosaur kale, spinach, mazunga greens, I don't know, something right here. Collard greens, chard, mustard greens, no romaine sprouted, some kind of dehiver lettuce, rouge dehiver maybe, and then uh, cabbage or collard. I don't know what that says. Paris Island 
I have no idea. It, Jenna and Emma planted this stuff, but it's doing great. We need to try to get it in the ground this week. Um, we're going today to, uh, we've done some bartering with two of our pigs. We have, we've sold one of the goat bucklings. So we're going to get those delivered today. Uh, we also planted 2,053 strawberry plants. Crazy. Uh, we gave probably about a thousand away to some friends, uh, different friends. We've, um, what else have we done? There's a goat using the bathroom right there. If y'all hear that, that should wrap up this video. And we're going to do a lot more this week. It's just another crazy busy week. Uh, we're going to start getting ready for the HOA conference this week. We're planning on going to that next weekend. And, uh, so we have a lot going on, but, uh, that will catch y'all in the next video y'all please if you're not subscribed to our channel go ahead and subscribe click the like button on this video click the little notification bell and youtube will start notifying you every time we upload a video and leave us a comment below so uh we'll know what y'all are thinking of what we've got going on there goes emma going to milk the goats like it's cold out here or something i don't know she's in a heavy coat and i'm in a t-shirt so anyway we will catch y'all later <laughs>